All right, today we're talking about our favorite video game races. That's races, not racists. I can't actually think of any video game racists off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are some. Anyway, favorite video game races. Uh, one of my favorite has to be the Undead in World of Warcraft. I mean, pretty much any Undead race in any game that you can play as, it's awesome. Uh, it's one of the only races that makes sense that you can respawn, because, I mean, that's sort of what the entire race is based off of. It's just a guy that died and then he totally respawned. He's respawned as a, a rotting, disgusting version of himself, but he definitely respawned, and now he's undead. And it makes sense that he could keep coming back because, well, he's undead. And the other thing is, in, in World of Warcraft specifically, they had the best racial. They, uh, they had the thing that would break stuns and, and fear and all that stuff, because you can't scare an undead guy. You can't, you can't stun an undead guy. He's, he's undead. What, what's he going to do? He's, he's just constantly coming at you. Although these were more coordinated. They kind of like had knives and could cast spells and stuff. So it didn't fully sync up with what you'd think of an undead because these guys were kind of intelligent, but they were still awesome. I don't know. It, it, logically, it made sense, and I'm a logical guy, and then I, I think that's what really strikes a chord with me. Favorite races? I gotta go with, I know So Hinky talked about the undead in World of Warcraft, I gotta go Worgen. I mean, you gotta give it up for any race that makes players go from the Horde to the Alliance. I used to be Hardcore Horde, um, when I saw Worgen, I'm like, badass werewolf dudes, <laughs> yes please, I will take that. Plus I'm kind of a furry guy, if you've ever seen me. So the Worgen was kind of a natural fit for me. Transform into a badass werewolf, slash people up, you know, for the Alliance, never really said it, it felt kind of weird saying it the first times. But uh, yeah, I definitely got into it. Plus, their opening campaign at the beginning, where you're like in that church, and the f***ing worgen burst in through the windows, and like bite you and infect you, and then you're on that like epic quest to like find a cure. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's, uh, it's definitely worth going over to the Alliance for. So yeah, worgen on my first pick. All right, if we're gonna be talking about our favorite races, you obviously have to go with the classic. Rainbow Road, Mario Kart 64, best race ever. It's not that race, it's, it's the like, what? Oh, that kind of race. Well, in that case, well, we, we still gotta go classic. Let's go with the Battletoads. These guys were humanoid, martial arts, frogs, and toads. So actually, one of them was a frog, even though they were battle toads. So maybe they're just like a whole breed of like amphibian uh, uh, martial artists. That'd be kind of cool. But like the Battletoads, they have like these super attacks where like, they're like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And then all of a sudden, like Rash's little tiny foot just becomes like a giant boom work boot that kind of kicks you in the face. Actually, no, that wasn't Rash. He was the one with like the buzzsaw fist. It was uh, uh, Pimple. Pimple had the giant work boot that would just like come in and like kick you and like punch you away. Like that's cool. I want to see like how did we not get more Battletoads games? Maybe because every person in the world was just so angry that they couldn't beat that one speeder bike stage. But these guys were awesome. I beat it. You, so Inky beat the Battletoads stage? I beat the speed bike stage. Ah, oh, you. No one's done that. All right, one person's done it. But I, I think that there's so much potential there, and maybe there's other other frogs. Maybe there's a female frog because they aren't asexual or anything. They they need not they need more there. So that'd be kind of cool to see like a whole race, like the entire race of like battle toads and a giant war against those angry pig things because they wanted bacon or something. I don't know. Still an awesome race. And my second one, lots of you know I like cute things. The Ewoks. Come on, the Ewoks. They're these little cute. Warrior teddy bears. They're just these little teddy bear guys and they make funny noises like Ichuta, Chapukiyuki, and they like just make silly noises. But then they like murder stuff. They like crush people with logs and they throw rocks at them. They just throwing rock. They just slang rocks all day. Which is why I, I like slinging rocks. It's what I do in, in chivalry. It's what I like. But Ewoks are awesome, man. They're adorable. And it, actually, a lot of people don't know. Uh, Joe and Shire told me this the other day. Uh, you actually don't know this, but they were really supposed to be these sort of like violent creatures like they would kill the stormtroopers and then they would eat them like that was their thing is they like like you know how they were gonna cook them like Luke and and lay them in the fire or whatever not Leia uh, Luke and, and Han in the fire that they yeah, they did that they took stormtroopers and they ate through their armor and they and they cannibalized well not cannibalized them but they ate them and that's kind of like you don't really think of it I like the idea of that little cute sort of like he's like ah, oh, it looks so cute and then all of a sudden it's eating you because it's a ferocious beast yeah, Ewoks. They're awesome. And they're adorable. And then the Khajiit. The Khajiit from Skyrim. I don't know what it is about them. Their attributes and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I just mainly 
play them for the look. I mean, they're adorable cat people. And then, uh, you know, they're they're very good with their claws, they, just like a real cat, you know, if you've ever been scratched by a kitty. And uh, they, they can just mess people up without weapons, which is very good. And, you know, uh, they're just the best race. If you've ever seen, uh, I call myself Catman the Laserborn when I play as them. So it kind of works. Mm -hmm. Catman, Batman. But anyway, yeah, Khajiit. Best race in Skyrim by far. Way better than those lizard people. Come on, cat people, lizard people. You know a cat would beat a lizard in real life. You ever seen an iguana f*** up a cat? No, it would never happen. Cat people. Khajiit. Everyone's been asked the question at least once. Would you bang an alien if you got the chance? And me? I'd say yes. I would probably bang the Asari. That's another one of my favorite races from video games. Now see, the Asari only come in the female humanoid uh, version. There are no male uh, Asaris, but like the females could reproduce for either a male or a female of any species, which is kind of cool. Only problem is though, the baby cup, like the baby pops out looking like another Asari. And that's, that's cool, I'd, I'd be fine with that. Maybe it'd have my eyes with blue skin and the blue tendrils. Um, but yeah, see like the whole thing with Asari also is like, they like, they trip you out right before they go to bang town with you. They're like, ooh, stare into eternity. And then it's like, boom. And then you're like, yes, blue alien sex. This is the best ever. Uh, but other than that, they're also great like soldiers, warriors. Uh, they're very peaceful people. They can keep you nice and zen. And when you know how to use their biotics, like, like the way they do, pretty fucking strong. So, uh, sorry, I do ya. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm single, because I'm still pretty f creepy. I think a lot of the songs from Super Mario Bros. Universe, uh, you got that, that one where it'd be great walking down the streets, like, 